Good day, dear audience. I think if we consider the present political view today, we have in front of us the Israeli-Hamas war. I think both Hamas and the Palestinians and Israel as well are victims. Victims to a wide, well-planned conspiracy that is made by Russia and Persia. Because if you we contemplate who is the winner from this situation, the winner is someone who wants to withdraw the United States' attention away and, and assistance and supplies to the Ukrainian party and attract the attention and get America busy in another direction which is the Middle East conflict and assisting Israel because Russia have faced a very humiliating and disgraceful military situation and position in the Ukrainian battlefield that is spending more than one and a half years unable to achieve a remarkable victory in front of a relatively small military power that is the Ukrainian army. So, and Persia is the one planning and commanding uh, Hezbollah and Hamas party make all this the war by its command. The, Persia, the work by the Hamas and Hezbollah the Lebanese Hezbollah work by the and operate by the command of the Persian party that is a part and uh, an ally of Russia and both are allies both are planners of all this Persia Russian ally and an enemy of Israel and Russia would gain by withdrawing and decreasing the American care and assistance for Ukraine that's the key or the reason of what is happening today. So here are the two members of the conspiracy, Putin and Ibrahim Rais. So here they are, their negotiations and their plans for supplying the Russia with the advanced drones to Persia and for the anar anarchy of the world in Ukraine and now in the Middle East, Hamas and Israel. Now he's smiling for the agreements between them for the anarchy of the world. Sorry for that, really. I hope that the United States not to get distracted by the war between Israel and Hamas in the Middle East and not to decrease its assistance to Ukraine because this is the aim of Russia to be able to achieve a part victory there and cancel or delete the disgrace and humiliation that it met during the past battles in Ukraine. I think the United States should take very great care for the uh, Persian military advances and the technological level of its war equipment. It has very advanced drones such that Russia have made use of in Ukraine not its own drones nor the uh, Turkish drones. In fact, the Persian military advances should be stopped in some way or another because as I explained before the Persian military adv advances and development are more dangerous because Persia is an expensive aggressive country and a conspirator and causes much anarchy in the Middle East and a day after the other in the very near future would be a match to the United States which should take care of that very much and bear it in consideration. I wonder that the United States have brought the Gerald Ford aircraft carrier in the Middle East. Well, that's for power showing, but is it safe? The accompanying defenses, submarines, uh, guns on it, and, uh, and accompanying uh, planes, are they enough to assure it is safe? Can it endure or withstand an attack from Persian drones or Persian rockets? Is its radar system completely, can it completely intercept any attack from rockets or drones of Persia? Can it withstand an attack that can overpass the intercept? That's many, the, these are many questions. Is the Gerald Ford aircraft carrier safe? That's a question. Well, the Russian-Persian alliance is an evil one. They might be planning for a trap for the Gerald Ford 
aircraft carrier. You cannot tell what they might target it with, what type of rockets, what type of bombs or missiles, perhaps using submarines. It might be from Iran direct and it might be from Hezbollah with the excuse uh, it's not us but they would be providing it by the rockets or the missiles that would target it is it capable of withstanding and what to what extent can it withstand if the defenses its defenses missed well Iran should be Persia should be stopped Shakespeare once in one of his plays said kill the serpent or the snake in the egg that's all by the audience